Now I want to show you how to add extra tax if needed. Um, if you've been following along, then you probably remember when we set up shipping, we set up to ship within North America as well as the UK. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'd like to add a 20% tax to orders that are coming from the United Kingdom. So the first thing we need to do is go up to localization and then go to taxes. And here you'll see uh, all the US state sales tax. Um, I'm in, in Massachusetts, so we have a 6.25% tax rate. Um, and then 10 minutes north of me is New Hampshire, which is a 0% tax rate. So guess where I shop? So to create a new one, we need to click Add New and we want to give it a name let's just say uh, UK I'll just say UK 20 percent and the rate will be 20 percent and we want to enable that I'm sorry I think I'm not sure if I have to put the percent sign in here or not the rate fee, yeah so we can't put the percent sign let's just add new again okay 20 percent and then we just want to put 20 all right so if we go down should be able to see it all right right here UK 20 percent so we have the tax set. Now we need to create a tax rule. So we need to go to localization tax rules. And you can see we have a rule for each state in the US. I want to add new. I'm going to call it the same thing, UK 20%. Enable, and then we want to click save and stay. And so that was created now we want to click add a new tax rule under the UK 20 percent and we want to choose our country you can do any specific country you want we're gonna do the United Kingdom um, the behavior is gonna be this tax only um, and the tax we want to choose the one we just created which is UK 20 percent we'll just say UK customers 20% sales tax that low case all right so save and stay so now we have our our tax rule and so that's created now there is there is a bit of bad news um, with this with taxes and press the shop and that is that currently there is no easy way to apply this tax to every product at once. Um, what you'll need to do is go to each product and set it up. So if we go to our products and we go to iPod Nano, we can scroll down, where is it? Prices and tax rule we would have to change this to UK 20 percent and then that would be applied to this product um, only for users that are coming from the UK now remember when we create we created this we didn't choose to combine tax we chose to use this by itself so for this particular product only this tax would apply not the original um, tax so I mean it's it's kind of a drawback you can um, go to advanced parameters CSV import and you can import your products through a comma separated value um, document and you can you actually can include the tax so you could add it there um, but there's no really easy way to do that uh, that I know of. So um, that's how you create taxes for certain countries, or you can just you can apply it to, to anyone. 
Another great feature of PrestaShop is how easy it is to apply multi-currency. So people can pay with different currencies on your shop. And you can do this by logging into the back office and going to localization currencies. Now when you install PrestaShop it asks you for your country and depending on what you choose it'll set up the the currency uh, automatically. You can see obviously I'm in the US so we have the USD the US dollar already here as well as the ISO code number uh, that's very important in order to add new currencies so let's click add new so we want to give this a name I'm just gonna say EUR and the ISO code which is EUR the numeric ISO code now there's a really uh, helpful link at Wikipedia to help us find different isonumeric codes um, for different countries. It is en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash iso underscore 4217. And you can see it shows the codes for every country. Uh, we want we want euros right here. EUR and we can see the numeric code is 978 so we want to grab that and put that right here which I already have the symbol I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the pound symbol and the conversion rate is 1.30 you can easily google any conversion rate uh, the format we want to choose this option as with euros uh, decimals will just we're not going to have decimals spacing no and we want to enable it so that should that looks good so now that's been added heroes have been added now we should be able to go to uh, the front end and reload and you can see we have four products in our cart and if we go up to this little currency selector and we hover over it we have the the option to shop with euros so if we choose that it'll auto update the products in our cart uh, 1.30 which is the conversion rate which now uh, it, it was 3 something before now it's 411 so very easy we can switch back and now you can see 316 which is the USD amount so very easy to do uh, you can add as many currencies as you'd like and that little select select box on the front end will uh, give you all will give your customers all the options for each currency um, so that's it for this section and I'll see you in the next